So out of that last batch, which was 10 watches that Exquisite Timepieces sent me, I saved the resins to last. I'm slightly intimidated by it, if I'm completely honest. It is a beautiful watch. And I'm happy that I was able to check out the white dial. Often people go for the blue or the black dial. And I think the black dial for sure would be the obvious choice in the sense that it almost looks artificial. It looks like it's like some sort of smartwatch or something. The white one looks more like it's hand-drawn on paper, which I think is also extremely cool looking in its own right for sure. So why am I intimidated by it? Well, clearly it's it's challenging to just quick glance and read, although it is basically a regulator layout, meaning that the um, hour, minute, and seconds hand are all separated. And then this also has a day of the week indicator if you know what you're looking at. But before we get into all that stuff, on top of that, like on how to set it, because the case back is weird, um, let's talk about the size. And elephant in the room, this is a very expensive watch for most people's, you know, budget. It's like, uh, I think it's 20K-ish north of that. But all of them are like in that range. So um, nobody else is doing something like this. It's pretty wild and spectacular and mesmerizing and draws you in to the point where you're like, I don't know, maybe that's not too bad if I just sell everything and then sell the car and walk to work and pack a lunch. Maybe this would be a good choice, but maybe not. Let's cover the size. I measure the width. This is, by by the way, this is the Type 1 Slim. Yeah, it's thin. Not all the watches from this brand are slim. This one definitely is. This is 42.4 millimeter wide is what I measure. The lug to lug at 45. I measured this stuff. I didn't just look it up and regurgitate it. I measured it. The thickness is 10.9 millimeter. So yeah, that's thin. That'll work. 20 millimeter lug width. You can see they used curved spring bars on this perfectly matched leather for this watch. From what I understand and my research, mostly watching. Uh, okay, so I had to splice the video together. I don't know why I was jumping around like that, but we're, we're getting better here. So a uh, quick look at it here. Yeah, should be ETA 2892 in the inside, heavily modified, of course. And how do you read it? I think once you look at it, most watch enthusiasts will be able to understand it fairly quickly. But if I offer a quick explanation, that might help. So this is your hour. It's nearly 8 o'clock. I say nearly 8 o'clock because the minute hand is pointing towards the 55. So it is 7.55. Once that gets to 60, then it will be officially 8 o'clock. Of course, you have your running seconds over here. And then this is your day indicator. Now, we know it's p.m. because this day indicator runs in this direction, counterclockwise. And this is Friday because the orange markers are Saturday and Sunday. And we're not quite to Saturday. So this would be nearly 8 p.m. on Friday. It's time to go have a beer with the friends, right? So that's what time it is. Or whatever your activity is at 8, 8 o'clock on uh, Friday evening. So setting it, um, it's not extremely tricky for this particular model. They have much more complicated models with uh, dates and some other stuff. I, they have quite a few different models. This one's gonna be like more of a base, simple, like every, grab and go watch. You could set it pretty quickly. But if you don't wanna deal with setting it because of the interaction of it back here is kinda of weird, um, maybe this would be a good one to put on a watch winder. So you pop this open like this, and then you can see it says down here for setting and for winding. And that's all, that's all you have to do is you have to turn it in that direction and they will all spin. So if we turn it in this direction, which by the way, it says right in the case back and in all of their tutorial, turn slowly. What do they mean by turn slowly? You should be able to count to six or more per rotation. That's slowly. So 
maybe a good idea to actually count that out. You know, like, you know, one, 1,000, two, 1,000 as you're turning it. Make sure you're not spinning it faster than that because you could damage the movement. So, like, for example, like right here, that would be the 8 p.m., right? But if you needed to advance it to the 9 p.m., then you would just keep rotating it. And you can see the interaction here, that little click, that's normal. They actually talk about that click, too. Um, it's called orbital convex. So you have a convex situation here, and you have that orbital. orbital. So all of the little subdials kind of uh, orbit one another. It's a wild thing to witness. And if you find yourself staring at the watch, like most of us do, you can watch it slowly doing that. Like I turned it slow, but it's moving even slower when you're you know, watching it run. You can see the seconds hand moving. But if you wait long enough, you'll see that they're all slowly just kind of orbiting one another. And believe it or not, this thing actually has loom. But before we get to the loom shot, we need to do a wrist shot. The case material, polished grade 5 titanium. This is a nice lightweight watch. The clasp here, again, you have their logo there, the little hand. That's to show that it's a friendly watch. And this actually will clip down into place nice and secure. So let's pop this on my 7 and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what that looks like. If I can get it on, should be able to here. I'm trying to be very careful because I cannot afford to buy this. Yeah, it fits great. It wears great. That slim profile. Some of the other ones are a little bit thicker feeling. This one's incredibly light on wrist. I'll put the weight down below as well as the dimensions. Um, and it just looks great on wrist. It's very fun. Whether you go with the... So there's a black one, a blue one, a white one, and then there's actually a limited edition red one. And I'm not sure if Exquisite Timepieces has that one, but I know they have this one, and they probably have a bunch of others. So Exquisite is the authorized dealer for Resins, the brand, as well as like 60 other brands. So I have to give them mad props for sending this over, trusting this with me, and then being able to share it with you guys. So... Now it's time to give this dial a little UV. It's going to need a little help because it's like, I think it's black loom. So it's not going to be amazing, but it has it. And you wouldn't think this would, but it definitely has it. So you can see it right there. It, it's not super bright, guys, but it has loom. It's going to be way more bright on the darker dialed ones. But it's just cool that they even did it. Because you've seen Black Loom before on watches. It's not great. It's not going to be extremely useful for telling time. But once my eyes adjust to it, like, I could actually see it. So, thanks for watching, guys. And, again, big thanks to the entire crew at Exquisite Timepieces. Tell them I sent you. Link down below.